Well, Anthony Rossi has cancer, and he's been voting by mail for years. That's why he was surprised when he got this letter in the mail from the nonprofit Voter Participation Center encouraging him to apply for mail-in voting. So Rossi started making some calls, and he found out that he needed to reapply for mail-in voting, but he also needed help doing it. Rossi showed me the letter he got from the nonprofit, but he said when he started making calls, he found it hard to find answers. If you try to call the Republican Party or the letter, it just pushes you to a voicemail and you never hear anything. Rossi said he started calling people he knew. His priest told him the ballots were already being sent out. He says, I already voted. My, my mail out ballot came, mine didn't. Rossi doesn't have a computer of his own, so I jumped on my laptop to help him register. But the website required an email, something else Rossi didn't have. We used mine so he could get his ballot, but Rossi says this is a problem. There's a lot of people like me that don't have computers. We don't have email. I reached out to the supervisor of elections, and the office responded, saying, quote, We're able to accept requests for two general election cycles only. It's common for voters to believe they did not have to request one in the past, but they did. So Rossi isn't alone, and he worries there may be a lot of people waiting on ballots that aren't coming. Just think of how many might not be getting a vote. I think it needs to be double checked. And the supervisor of election tells me there are more than 500,000 registered voters in Lee County and more than half of them have already requested a vote by mail ballot. And the office tells me it can't take the time to check to make sure that everyone has requested a ballot. So if you want to double check that you've requested one, there will be a link in this story on our website at fox4now.com. In Fort Myers, Rob Manch, Fox 4, in your corner.